So let's look at some of the proposed uh, changes to this uh, electoral bill. Now, Section 25 is a section that addresses the sequence of uh, election. Now, this proposed version seeks to begin uh, elections with the National Assembly, uh, then to the State Assembly, then governorship and presidential, and not the other way around, as is the case now. Now, that, that's one of the proposed uh, amendments. Also, Section 18 uh, talks about the power to issue duplicate voters' cards, and this enables electoral officer or any other officer to issue another copy of the voters' card with the word duplicate. And, you know, there are other amendments. So are you saying, Mr. Shegun, that these, these amendments are not good enough? I, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just saying that it's too late, it's too close to the election to affect those changes. It will create unnecessary confusion and trouble. And, 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 and uh, if, if we wanted to do this, we should have done that two, three years ago. Uh, I will wait for you to take effect in the next election. And, and by the way, my friend said the president won an election under what was acclaimed as a free and fair election. So if, if he did that, then why, 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 why can't he do it now? So what I'm saying is that, yes, why the changes are necessary and are good, uh, they didn't come on time, uh, and uh, assenting to it now, uh, to begin to implement them now, will create serious confusion, and we don't need that. Okay, let, let me take Mr. Uh, Jeff Ojinika up uh, on a particular issue. Now, the spokesman of COP is quoted as saying that uh, President Muhammad Buhari has expectedly failed again to take advantage of a rare opportunity of the electoral amendments to write his name in gold as a president that signed the laws that guaranteed electoral credibility in Nigeria. What are your thoughts on that particular statement? I think... Um in fact, the president had lost a lot of mileage. He lost a lot of uh, opportunities to, to write his name on gold. I can tell you that, uh, you know, from the letters we read online, you know, in terms of uh, the letter he sent to the National Assembly, the president, in the first instance, he stated that uh, it's too late. He, had, he would have said all this, this first time this electoral amendment bill was sent to him that is already late. Why didn't he say it then? He allowed the National Assembly to go through the hog, through the pains, through the process of doing the First Amendment, the second one, the third one. Oh, my God. You need to know the huge economic loss encountered. The amount of money that this nation had lost as a result of the First Amendment, Second Amendment, and Third Amendment, and this is what he has just said. And you also see the president. I read the last version, you know, where he was now trying to propose uh, uh, an amendment to the draft. And uh, also going into the reign of trying to interpret what the law ought to be. And that is doing the job of the judiciary. It is not for the president to interpret what the law ought to be. It's for the, it's for the judiciary to interpret what the law is and the way it is. And, and not what the president feels that it ought to be. So he overreached his bound in trying to, and he had all the opportunities in the world to propose his own electoral bill to the National Assembly. For three and a half years that he, he served, he's been serving Nigeria. Okay, he has uh, never I'd, I'd like to bottom in now, deal. if you don't mind, uh, Mr. Any Jeff. Uh, now we have a few seconds just to round off uh, this particular topic, but I'd like to focus on the way forward. So gentlemen, Let's try to find a way forward. So what do you feel is the way forward, Mr. Shegun uh, Shinaga? Well, the way forward is right now we, we, we go back to what <clears throat> existed until now and um, make the best use of it. Uh, well, let me say this, that, that much of what the, uh, both the House and the Senate, what they've done, and don't forget that these, 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 are, these houses are added by opponents of the president. And so you will understand that there is a lot of politics that, that, that goes into that. Uh, for instance, switching the dates of the elections. Uh, that, that's strategic for them, uh, to give them an edge. And uh, you, you, you are not playing with the other team that has it, its hands folded. Okay. <laughs> so you, you brought uh. in politics into it, that's fine. Uh, so they've, they've served you back. So, so, so let's go back to the drawing board 
Okay. Let them clean it up. Let them do it well. Okay. And make it available for the next elections. Okay, briefly, uh, Mr. Jeff, way forward. 30 seconds, please. Uh, the way forward is, uh, first and foremost, I think it will be very important that the National Assembly we produce, must produce a, a, a lot of copies of uh, this amended electoral bill so as to enlighten Nigerians, so that Nigerians will come to terms with the benefits that will accrue from so doing. And secondly, all Nigerians of goodwill, Nigerians that uh, love this nation, will, the pressure will now go to the National Assembly to get them to do the needful. Any member, the voting, the voting on, on this electoral bill will be as it was in the days of a third term. Okay. Nigerians, cameras will be beamed on members, okay. and we will see members that will come to vote, or, or senators that will come to vote against this, and uh, Nigerians will wait for them in the pools. Okay. Uh, so it, it's a matter, it's a... I think we should, it's I a think we should just that, honestly uh, leave Nigerians it at that. Nigerians will take serious... Uh, th I'd like you, thank you so much, uh, gentlemen. We're actually short of time, but I, I'm glad that we have a way forward now, and hopefully uh, we'll follow this uh, to the end. So thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jeff Okinika uh, and uh, Honorable Shegun Oshinaga for joining us on the program.